you are with, with the day. Exactly. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not helping you out with shit if I don't feel like you'll do the same for See, me. That's but yet, yeah, but a real man would. That's what I'm saying. What's a if, real man? If you go out with a real man, if you go out with a real man, okay, what's a real man? Then they're gonna say what they think a real man. I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. A real man is a man who can sit you down and talk to you, who can calm you down when you're at your angriest. A real man is a man who cannot even look at you and know exactly what you're thinking. He's a man who can take a hostile situation, remove you from it, handle that shit the right way where you're saying, yeah, that's my nigga, and then go home and fuck the shit out of you the right way. That's a real man. It always comes full circle. It does, because fuck is a big part of it. Everybody knows. Sex is like 70% of a relationship. If a nigga got a little dick, you fucking another nigga on the side if you treating you the rest of the way right. We all know it. Yeah. Exactly. What is a real man? I think a real man is someone who is like your best friend. Someone who you can talk to. Someone who is a protector. Someone who you feel like if you were in a rough situation, you know that he's going <laughs> to handle it. But then it's also someone who's honest with you. Someone who can handle the bills. Someone who can be the father to your kids and be a husband to you. Uh, all right. Some good points. Precious, what do you think? Everything. But I would add a supporter, basically. Like a backbone. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So wait, same shit. Wait, wait. So my man is right. Give me some. Oh, well, that's I'm not right. Right. I'm not right. What if you're the professional? I don't want to be with somebody who has the same lifestyle as me. I don't want to be with somebody right. that works 20 hours a day. If you work 20 hours a day, I can do my hobby because you should be making enough money to pay the major bills. Wait, you talking about women or men? Either or. <laughs> If you want to be equal, if you truly want but to be equal, Jesus. I need to have enough time to make you feel like a woman. I can't be working the same kind of job as you <laughs> to make you feel like a woman. Oh, so what if no, she has the same kind of... But no, what if she has the same kind of job as you and she's a photographer and you're a writer? You both don't then have that's perfect. We can pay spend pay. time. Relationships are about three things. It's about the time we spend together, the amount we know each other, and the amount we need but to be apart from each other. But you said that it takes only four hours to get to know somebody. It does. It takes four hours to know if you want to fuck somebody or not. Oh, we talk about this. Shit, that's within the first five minutes. But for you to legitimately fuck me, there are studies done at Harvard right now that says <laughs> four hours of conversation and a woman knows if she can truly trust somebody enough to sleep with her. That's not whether true. or not whether or not he was true with her and showed well, her Well, they don't know until, until the nut is bust and the next day whether they get a call or not. Exactly. That's what <laughs> but but yeah. if I fuck you on the first day, I'm just this goes much. By, And a week goes by and all their friends call them out. I heard you was fucking with Wooty Woom. You know, like, because a lot of dudes, we just talked about that on the last one. Yeah. Be fucking it up for the next homie by running their mouth. Mm -hmm. So that's the dude. So females really don't know. You know, dudes be running. I mean, you know, I mean, you can say some dumb shit and fuck it all up. So it's just, yeah, I mean, I it's not, it, it depends on. on okay, real quick. Let me fuck it all up. If you're ready to just give it to him right there, what can he do to fuck it up at that moment? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one. Hold on. We're running out of time, so think quick. <laughs> So you left this wild in the car and trying to give it a paper bill. <laughs> 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 so you selling it? No, but you I'm know. talking about sex. What? No, she was. If you're there, are you ready? If I'm ready to, if you're ready to go. Can do. Oh wait, my baby mama just caught. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do with that moment? Yeah, exactly. If you know you don't fuck this dude, this is the day y'all met. And it's the, the moment of truth. just great. It's the moment of truth. What do y'all do? Okay, I'll give you a couple reminders. Uh, he said he don't have no comments. That can uh, fuck He said he don't give head. He asked <laughs> you for head first. No. Uh, that can uh, fuck it up. <laughs> y'all can't, I mean. I mean, let me take my look, medicine. Look, 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 I'm going to be honest. <laughs> if, if we hanging out the first day and I know this shit is going to the point where we're going to fuck and she says something like, Oh yeah, you look like you would be a good father. Oh, no. Yeah. What? Smothering That's smothering is number one. Don't fucking smother me. Don't smother me. I don't like I don't I don't need to be choked out at all. At no, all. Let me be me, let me do me, let me I say me. the I say the wrong kind of uh sexual lingo that you can use in the bedroom in, in the mix of so you, so the problem for you is your dudes get too freaky? Is that what it is? A little too much freakiness. Like baby peeing me in the shower. Yeah, some shit like that <laughs> would, would, would totally just throw me off. So, I mean, you say something that's a little too far out too of my freaky. box, you know, that could squash it for me. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. We touched on a lot of subjects. And uh, <laughs> thanks for tuning in. We'll hit y'all next time. All right. Peace.